Hi everyone, on today's video we're going to talk about what I think is the best camera money can buy in 2021. It's this guy, the Nikon N90S. Let's check this out. Nowadays, people are looking for a classic camera like a, a Canon AE-1, Nikon FM or FE series. Nobody seems to be interested into an N90S like this. It's a 90s camera. Although it was a professional camera in its day, it has all the features you need and nothing more. But a camera like this, I don't see any feature that it is lacking. I mean, everything is in there. Spot metering, burst mode, plus it's built like a tank and it's a, a very reliable camera. So I don't see any reason why somebody who wants to get started into film photography in 2021 shouldn't get one of these. I'm not joking when I say this camera was built like a tank. It even got the nickname the sewing machine just for this. Yeah burst mode that is totally usable even today and uh, another good feature of it is the viewfinder the viewfinder is bright and clear and uh, I wouldn't even say it's better than many modern day DSLRs although this camera came up in 1991 as the N90 not the S model it was sold brand new until 2001-2002. It's a testimony of its reliability. Like I say, it's built like a tank. And uh, I've never seen an N90S that was faulty because uh, something went wrong. Most of them are still working perfectly fine. You just have to whack in some batteries and uh, it uses AA batteries. So you don't have to worry about uh, carrying a spare lithium battery in your camera bag. One of the downsides of this camera, because obviously there is one, is that you're going to have to use AF or AFD camera lenses. You see, to set the aperture on this camera, you will have to get a lens that has an aperture ring. AFGs and AFS lenses, modern day DSLR cameras, they don't have such a thing. About the features, it has everything you need. You have spot metering, matrix metering, and the metering is one of the best in the market, even today. This camera uses the 28-270 by Nikon. It's not the 2.8, it's a kit lens. But I tried it on my D750 and it's, uh, it's sharp. I mean, it's one of the best kit lens I have see ever seen. The build quality of this camera is just an example of what can be done when you want a camera that lasts for a long time. You see, Canon, Minolta and Pentax back in the 90s, they used plastic all over the place. It was plastic galore. Nikon, well, it's literally a metal camera covered in plastic. That's uh, probably the reason most of them are still working fine today. And if you are used to a modern day DSLR, the N90S is not gonna feel very different. It's the same, there is an LCD inside the viewfinder, an LCD on top, and it's pretty similar. Even, it even looks like a modern day DSLR, so I'm not gonna have any problems using it. It's easy to use. It was sold as a professional camera, so it's straightforward. You get the shot and that's it. Yes, I'm taking pictures of my shoes, just like a teenager, but huh, what's the point in being grown up if you cannot be childish sometimes? So, what are my final thoughts on the N90S? Well, let's imagine somebody comes in and he tells me that I have to travel to a faraway country and I'm only allowed to get only one film camera. It's gonna be this one, the Nikon N90S. Why? It has all the features I need. I know I'm not gonna be like, oh, I cannot do this because I miss this feature or that feature. I will be able to do whatever I want. 
And uh, let's imagine that a customer comes in and they say, well, we want you to take pictures of our wedding, but we want film, film photography. I will take this one as well, because I know it's not gonna let me down. It's reliable and uh, once again, all the features are there. So why would I bother? Anyways, that's all I've got for you today. As always, thank you for watching and catch you next time. Goodbye.